this unit, we go a little bit deeper presenting the technologies uh, that allow us to uh, uh, electrolyze steam. In particular, the most diffuse nowadays and the more promising technology is, is steam electrolyzer. In a solid oxide electrolyzer, uh, oxides flows from the hydrogen electrode to the oxygen electrode. So the electrolyte is a peculiarity is to allow the flow of oxides. The, at the hydrogen electrode, a steam is decomposed into uh, hydrogen and oxide, uh, and at the oxygen electrode, oxides are composed back into oxygen. Uh, electro two electrons, of course, uh, the allow to, to activate the reaction and is the external power, the current, that is necessary to um, feed the electrolyzers. So what happens is that we usually have steam as an inlet to the hydrogen electrode and hydrogen and as output of the process, while at the oxygen electrode there is the production of oxygen. So theoretically we have a separation of oxygen and hydrogen uh, during the process, so we have separate production of the two components. Looking into the materials, what we usually have in the market nowadays are the materials that are the most diffuse also for solid oxide fuel cells. This is usually the background for the electrolyzers as well. So we have an electrolyte that is yttrium zirconium, that is a ceramic that allows to flow the is a ceramic material that allows to flow oxides. And then at the hydrogen electrode, what is usually used is nickel as a catalyst, and as a base is uh, yttrium zirconium again, like electrolyte. Finally, at the oxygen electrode, the diffused material is a perovskite, that is uh, lithium strontium uh, cobalt perite. This is a, an image of a, uh, of a cell, for example, you can see that there is the, the black part that is the um, oxygen electrode, and you can see uh, the green part that is the oxide, oxidized nickel, then it can change color when in operation. And if we go into the, this is also a SEM of the of uh, a microscopic image of the of the three layers, and you can see that the electrolyte is uh, extremely uh, thin. This is because we want to reduce as much as possible the polarization losses. So, what is the peculiarity of this technology? Our operating temperature, of course, we it's a steam uh, electrolyzer, so it's a high temperature one that operates in the range 800, 600, 800 Celsius degree. Uh, atmospheric pressure. Uh, because usually this technology doesn't allow to operate at high pressure. Uh, catalyst use is nickel. This is pretty important because it allows not only the electrolysis reactions, but also other uh, reactions that may take place inside. And this usually happens when we have the CO electrolysis. So this is also a uh, p uh, potential development of these technologies because uh, due to the uh, nickel as a low um, and low cost and uh, extremely you know, stable catalyst when operating with also carbonous um, um, fuel like carbon monoxide. So main advantages is of course extremely high efficiency like all the steam electrolyzers. We know that we can operate close to 100%, let's say 95% as a reference. Then we have the option of also producing CO electrolysis, so it is possible to uh, use this technology also to produce syngas, and we know that it can be introduced in any uh, solar fuel, for example, process. Uh, thanks to high temperature operation, we can use cheap catalyst, in this case nickel, so compared to high cost catalyst of low temperature uh, electrolyzer, this is an advantage. And due to the operation at high temperature, we can um, have several solutions of heat integration, heat integration with other systems. We can both absorb heat to increase the efficiency or produce additional heat to um, integrate with other systems. Um, and of course, we can also produce oxygen separately. Uh, looking to the drawbacks, of course, uh, we uh, have a, a lot of issues related to high temperatures, like it related to type of materials and uh, like compatibility and stress uh, related to steel and ceramic materials together, for example. Then, of course, it's a totally new technology compared to a PEM electrolyzer or to alkaline electrolyzer is uh, less mature, of course. And finally, in CO electrolysis, we have nickel that is an option for catalyzing additional uh, reaction. In some cases, it can also cause uh, carbon deposition and a short degradation of the material. So there is an issue also related to this uh, material and to this uh, application of the technology. Now, if we look a little bit on the system of 
of electrolysis system, uh, looking at a little bit um, above the, uh, ar in the ar surround of the core technology, uh, we have to um, introduce additional gases. For example, at the hydrogen electrode, we need to keep a reducing atmosphere uh, to avoid nickel to oxidize. So we usually always flow into the hydrogen electrode also as low as small amount of hydrogen. So the inlet usually is not only steam, but is steam plus hydrogen. And this may become uh, an issue at system level, but of course we have hydrogen in the system because we produce hydrogen. So we need maybe to recirculate a part of hydrogen. And so what we have usually is a, a mixture with high concentration of steam and low concentration, concentration of hydrogen, around 5% five, five at the inlet. And then we have at the outlet uh, a high concentration of hydrogen and very small concentration of steam that is the not reacting part. Uh, to uh, avoid the, the starving of the reaction. So we usually uh, always uh, put a little bit more amount of reactant of steam compared to what is necessary for the reaction. The other um, side, we have the oxygen electrode. We usually can, theori the theoretically, we can produce only oxygen, but what we usually use is a sweep gas. So a gas, usually air, that uh, collects the oxygen produced and flows the oxygen out of the, of the, um, oxygen electrode uh, area. So, of course, if we look a little bit uh, in the around of the system, we need, for example, to heat up both steam, to produce steam, so we need a steam generator to add hydrogen, we are looking to the hydrogen electrode, and then we need to produce high quality hydrogen, we need to uh, separate the amount of steam that is still in the outlet with a condenser. So we need uh, to process the, the steam production and the condenser, one on the opposite of the other. Um, on the other side, of course, we need to heat up the sweep gas. We cannot flow uh, cold sweep gas inside the high temperature cool cells. And then if we want to obtain pure oxygen, we may need to separate the sweep gas. In the case of air, for example, it's just nitrogen. So we need uh, to balance the system as well. For example, we can couple steam generation and condenser, or we can recirculate part of the steam. So there are several solutions to um, optimize the system design. Another pretty new and uh, interesting uh, uh, technology is molten carbon electrolyzer. This is something extremely recent, so it's, it's not a technology uh, is under development in a concept level. But of course, uh, we can use another typical full cell technology that are molten carbonate full cells to make a similar process as electrolyzer. Here it's much more complex because we know that what flows through the electrolyte is not oxides like in solid oxide, but is carbonates. So we need to s produce carbonate, so we mean it means that we need uh, carbon. And to have carbon, usually we feed the reaction with carbon dioxide. So what happens really in molten carbonate electrolyzer is always uh, CO electrolysis. So we have two reactions that we can see in the hydrogen electrode to produce hydrogen, and we can produce also carbon monoxide. And on the other side, we have the oxygen electrode, and we produce uh, of course, oxygen and carbon dioxide that can be recirculated like for molten carbon fuel cells. Here's again, it's a new technology uh, that is under development. And in this case, of course, we have oops, the inlet of carbon dioxide of steam in one side and steam gas in the other side at the hydrogen electrode. Like for the oxygen electrode, we need to flow sweep gas. And what we have at the outlet is sweep gas with carbon dioxide and oxygen. Thank you very much. <laughs>